Well, hello there, this is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video about Amazing Marvin because it is amazing. And in this particular video, what I'm gonna do is show you like several different ways that you can input tasks or write tasks inside of Marvin, all right? And it's really, you're gonna be surprised some of the things that it can do. So let's jump right into Amazing Marvin. And what you do see right now is my demo version of Amazing Marvin. And so here's, you know, like out of the box, there's several different ways that you can input uh, tasks inside of Marvin. For one, the first way you can do it is click this little uh, red uh, plus button right here in the corner, and it would just bring up this input text box right here. So that's really easy to do. And what you can do here is go ahead and just type in a task. So for example, you can say uh, clean, clean kitchen. And you can use what's called natural language processing to add the other elements of the task. So for example, if I want to do the, what day it's going to be, I can push today or tomorrow or type a day in there. If I go into how much time it's going to take, which is very important. So you can do this right here and then put say, you know, 10 minutes. And then you can go in and put which category this uh, task belongs to if you want that. Push the pound sign and then push home here, and then you can do this. And then all you got to do is once you're done, you just click the, uh, the, the return key and it will put it um, into the day view or whatever day that is scheduled for. So you see, I have a couple of these down here that I've already experimented with um, or set up. So up here, so, th so that's one way to do it. Another way you can do it inside Amazing Marvin, you can just quickly click, click on the space bar and that will also open up this input task box as well so that's really really quick um you can you know that's pretty that's not easy to uh, i mean that's easy to remember um again too also now while we're up in here i want to show you what's called uh, fast buttons and custom text links all right and so if you have several tasks that you perform on a regular basis but they're not recurring tasks you can actually have these set up in here now i'm not going to explain in detail how to create these you can go into the marvin guide which is a really good guide i'll put a link to the guide in the show notes because you really when you start working with marvin you want to make use of that guide because it explains everything about how to use it my my role here is just to show you the things that marvin has so for example if i wanted to go over and click on household you see that it is already pretty it's already set up here i can add more detail if i want or i can just leave it as this right here but but you see the category is already here the day i want to do is already here how much time and i can change and reschedule it if i want as well so when i click that it just goes automatically down into uh you know when it's scheduled and so that's just a really quick way to do that and same thing here is i have these are fast buttons right here on my day view as well. And these are similar to the custom text links. And so again, these are some of the tasks that I perform, you know, irregularly, but I want to have them there so I don't have to type them all out again. All right. Now the same thing like in other task managers or advanced task managers, you can also load templates. So if you want to load a template and, and it'll uh, you type the word, load and then you you know hit the space bar and then you can select some of the templates that you have saved i don't use this a lot but it's there for me uh, when i need it mainly i use the fast buttons and i'm going to show you another way what i use as well but that's another strategy that's available in in there for you to use all right now one of the biggest ways that i use getting tasks into uh into marvin is i click on you i have my say for example my seven uh seven day view week you know my week view and basically what i do is i use what's called pinned task right here and these pin tasks are that anything that you pin if you if you pin a, a, a task put it add a pin to it that means you can create a task from it and and you can use it more than once so if i slide this over here it's so why i want to do it on tuesday you see it's right there but it's still here right here i can use it again right and so when you look at a pin task right here you see this little pin button you add a pin to it when you create it and again this is displaying inside of the marvin there you can also you can add it here as like an action button i have a video about these action buttons matter of fact so you can also add a pin to a task right by using the action button right here there's several ways you can do that 
But so what I've done here, though, is that I've created a smart list of all my pinned tasks because you can have pinned tasks in any category, but the smart list will filter the task in um, one space, right? In, in one kind of folder. And then you can just access them in what's called the master list here in the sidebar. This is where I gather that. And I can use that to work out my week right here. So, you know, so from my you know Monday through, through Saturday or whatever, I can just drag task over. Same thing if I have this month, uh, stuff that I plan for this month, next month, this week, I can do the same thing. But pen tasks make it really, really easy. And you can see that I have quite a few of them because for the most part now, I pretty much know the kind of things that I want to do from week to week and day to day. So it's, I don't have to always, you know, type out tasks all the time. All right, so we can go back here again. Now, another way you can do, uh, you can input tasks is you can kind of do the a global uh, task input, which will open in any application. So I use the um, option command space bar, and that opens up this little uh, box here, input box, and I can type in the same thing and do that, right? And what's good about this is you can go over to the shortcuts in Amazing Marvin, and you can actually change the shortcut to use for that. So mine is, you know, command plus art, I mean, alt plus space, right? So you can do that. Um, and it's really a great way to do it. And then the last one that I, I want to show you really quickly is you can go to the dock um, and click on the I, Marvin icon. And right here, you can um, add a task this way. So if you're, say, you know, if your cursor is already down there to you know, the dock, you can just add it that way. And then you click on it. And again, it'll bring up the little box there at the top. So those are the kinds of ways that you can get into it. Oh, let me explain almost one more that I didn't show you yet, too. There's also a Google Chrome extension in um, Amazing uh, for Amazing Marvin 2. I can't show you that right now, but in that one, you can also create tasks there, and you can also check off tasks within that Google Chrome extension. So once you get set up with Amazing Marvin, all you got to do is just download that in, and, and put it in there. So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, definitely put those questions. I want to keep, you know, kind of producing videos on a weekly basis. So I really want to hear back from you. Uh, let me know that you like the videos that I'm putting out. And also give me some suggestions for how I can improve the videos. I have several other videos on Amazing Marvin. So if you're new to the, to the application, definitely check out my videos and check out the Marvin Help Guide. So thanks a lot for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.